Hi Stampers, welcome to Watch It Weekly Wednesday. I'm Jill. I'm going to show you a watercolor technique working with our basic white and our watercolor paper. So let me show you how that works and I'm using the You Are Beautiful stamp set. Now the reason why I chose this particular stamp set is the sayings are so awesome. I love the font and when you go ahead and spritz these they're going to be soft. So I wanted to use a stamp set that was soft and I thought that this would be a good one to use. So let me show you how to do this. I've already stamped this saying right here, right on our watercolor paper with stays on. So when I spritz the image with water, it will not run. It stays perfectly on there. So make sure when you're using water, if you're using a saying, you wanna use stays on. I'm gonna use Old Olive. And I'm going to ink this up really good. I'm just going to look to see if I have enough. It looks like this needs a little bit more. So I'm going to flip it over and make sure I have it. Stamp it right here, kind of going over the saying on it. Press it down. So I want to get the ink inside those crevices. I'm going to move that out of the way. And then I'm going to take a paper towel here so I can blot it when I think I have too much water. I'm going to use my stamping spritzer. So I'm going to spritz and I spritzed it and then I'm going to blot it so it makes it lighter and it stops it from running. So look how neat that gives it that soft look. Now you're going to either take your heat tool and you can dry this all or you can just wait for it to dry. But let me show you the difference in when I did this, I was trying different techniques. I wanted to do gold on this card. So I used the watercolor paper just like I did on this one and I embossed it with the gold powder. And because this paper sucks all the liquid in, the powder didn't stick to it. So let me show you what I did. I used the basic white and did the same thing and the powder stuck to it. Now the difference is when you spritz the image here, it's not gonna travel as much as it travels on the watercolor paper. So stays on will do fine, but the gold, if you wanna get the gold, you're gonna have to use the basic white. Let me show you a couple more cards I did with this stamp set. This is basic white embossed with the gold and spritzed, that other image. And then this is not even watercolor at all, but just showing you with the gold cards and envelopes, but that's just another technique with just no water at all. So you can use the basic white or the watercolor look and you can get beautiful soft looks with your stamps. I want you to go ahead and try this technique on any of the stamp sets you have at home. It will be wonderful to see how it just blends the colors. For more of these videos, you can come back every week and watch us on Watch It Weekly Wednesday. If you like any of these products, you can click the link below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on Watch It Weekly Wednesday.